What do you really need to build big biceps? Ring specialist gymnasts have insane biceps and I'm sure you were wondering whether it's possible to achieve similar results. In this video, I'm gonna summarize what to do if you wanna build the biggest possible biceps from the gymnastics perspective. No doubt that Olympic level routines put an enormous strain on the body. It takes many years of work to reach this level. However, I would like to point out that this is due to the special exercises, strength elements and acrobatic skills. Only building muscle doesn't demand as much time and training. In case of adult gymnasts, this happens in the same time frame as it does for anyone else, as they are also human, and once they achieve the muscle mass necessary for their exercises, they basically just maintain it. The development of strength and skill is more emphasized in their case, the given muscle mass is just a tool and a prerequisite. I think it's important to note, since gymnasts could be a lot more muscular if they wanted to, but their goal is just to have enough muscle mass to perform the routines perfectly. They can achieve that with certain exercises and methods. So if you understand what they do, you'll be able to improve your physique and build a great biceps as well. However, it's important to not get injured during this process, since as you will see, the secret of the gymnast biceps is more than just doing curls. During certain exercises, the biceps is in a stretched position with isometric contraction, which puts the tissues under extreme load, so proper warm-up and preparation is crucial. You can find videos about the proper gymnastic warm-up and joint preparation exercises on the channel or the full program on the link below. And now, let's see what you really need to do to build big biceps the gymnast way. First of all, you will need to do compound pulling exercises such as the chin-up. The different pull-up variations put the arm flexors under significant load and work the biceps really efficiently, especially in the chin-ups. And here I guess many people would interrupt me, saying But in the pull-ups and chin-ups, the back is also working, so it's not a good exercise. Since we're talking about compound exercises, it's obvious that other muscles get involved in the movement. This is the case with all compound exercises. Thanks to this, with these exercises, you can work on several muscle groups at the same time. And when it comes to the most effective exercises for muscle building in general for everyday people, most experts agree that compound exercises are the way to go. With the compound exercises, you can actually learn to move and own your body, build muscle efficiently, which is important not only from the gymnastics perspective. By the way, if we are talking about natural muscle building, the body strives for harmony and muscle balance, so without these, you won't get too far. Therefore, in this case, to put it simply, strong and developed back muscles are prerequisites for big biceps to some extent. This is why it's important to start with basics because you can build great foundation for your main muscle groups, the push-pull structure, and after that, you can isolate, which I'm gonna talk about later. In the chin-up, the biceps works in a way and range of motion than in no other exercise. Do several variations, where the brachialis as well with pull-ups and neutral grip or rings that also helps optically to have bigger arms. You can find a dedicated video about the bicep-centric chin-up, I put it on the end screen. And if you wanna go hardcore with an advanced exercise, try rope climbing. I also made a dedicated video about how to master rope climbing, you can find on the channel as well. So do the compound movements, do chin-ups and climb the rope for the best results. The second thing you need is the straight arm exercises. This is one of the specialty of gymnastics training that straight arm exercises work the biceps extremely well. Since the biceps doesn't only cross the elbow joint, but the shoulder joint as well, it gets an extreme load in exercises such as the planche, maltese, back lever or iron cross and the supplementary exercises of these. As I mentioned earlier, these exercises require a thorough preparation and really gradual progression. If you don't do these, the risk of injury is extremely high. So it's important to prepare your biceps and tissues for the load, start with low intensity exercises and holds and be patient. After the preparation, exercises that do the job well are planche leans, tuck planche or tuck back lever. These progressions have moderate overall intensity, work the biceps efficiently and you can hold it for longer to have the proper time under tension. If you work with weights, the planche raises and holds are also great. I made a dedicated video for developing straight arm strength with the best exercises, so if you haven't watched it already, check it out on the end screen. 
The third compound you need is the isolated biceps exercises. From the bodyweight and gymnastics perspective, isolation exercises are listed after the compound exercises, not only in general, but usually these are placed at the end of the workout as finisher. Of course, you can do these with weights, but if you train with bodyweight or just want to try something new, do these with rings. Ring biceps training is definitely a challenge and you can have similar results than with the weights and you'll have a completely different training experience. The ring isolations are closed kinetic chain movements, which means your center of mass isn't in one place and you're moving an external weight, but your body is the resistance and you're moving it during the exercise. This is going to be a different experience and thanks to the nature of the movement, you're not changing the weight, but the angle of your body to change intensity. You can do isolated biceps curls with the rings in front, behind and next to your body. I made a dedicated video about these exercises as well that you will find on the end screen. So to summarize, if you want to build big biceps with a gymnastics approach, do chin-ups, climb the rope, practice at least one straight arm skill and do different isolations with rings. For the best results, do these two, three times a week as part of your full body workout or spread them in your workout plan according to your programming. If you want to train according to this approach and integrate these in a complete system with comprehensive programs from joint preparation through basics to the advanced skills, click the link below, download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member and get full access to all programs, tutorials, daily workouts and much more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you haven't watched my earlier videos about the topics I mentioned, watch them on the end screen now.